Hey folks, this is Davey and Doug from the forum. Um, I've gone ahead and wiped my phone so it's uh, back to stock. Um, I'm going to go ahead and activate it by coming down here and pressing activate. Uh, once that comes up, we're going to go and punch in uh, star 228. When prompted, we'll also select one to activate the phone. Okay, now that the phone is activated, I'm going to go ahead and skip the, the Google login because I want to restore all my apps and data before I sign into Google so it doesn't try to force anything onto my phone. Now what I've done here is left a copy of Titanium Backup and Z4 Root, which is the program I'll use to root my phone, on my SD card in my downloads directory. So all I have to do is use the file manager and traverse the directory down to the appropriate files. Okay, we're in our downloads directory. We're going to find Z4 Root and we're going to try to install it. The install is blocked because this is a fresh install. So we're going to go ahead and allow unknown sources and um, go to development USB debugging. Turn that on. Then press back a couple times and install Z4 root. When the installation is complete, we're going to go ahead and run it and pick permanent root. Temporary root is for other phones, not like your Droid X. Um, so just go ahead and pick permanent. Should just take a second and the phone will reboot when complete. Okay, the phone has rebooted itself after rooting, and now we're going to go ahead and install Titanium Backup. Now, um, if you if you never installed it before, you know, um, we can just download it off the market and install it like normal. But I have a copy right here on my SD card, and I'm going to go ahead and install that. And this is a good idea to keep a copy of titanium so you don't have to muck with the market when you uh you know re-rom your phone or anything go ahead and give that su permissions and um you don't have to but uh i usually hit the problems and run their busy box because you know i'm not really sure what busy box loaded on depending on how i rooted it so I used, I used one titanium once. Okay, if you've never used this program before, you simply just hit batch, and then you can either back up everything or restore everything. And there's a, a mixture of things you can do in between. When you hit run, it'll bring up a, a list. I usually deselect all and then go through and handpick the apps uh, I want to restore back. I, you really want to avoid the red ones nine times out of 10. Um, unless you're looking to restore some type of blur or something. I wanted to cover this real quick, and that's the Super User app. You'll see that uh, if you don't like the notifications, you can turn that on and off. You can uh, come up here and have it show, turn off the status for each app, uh, clear the log. Um, but uh, these are the only three apps currently that have the ability to do any type of super user or root activity. Now before you install another ROM, make sure you're on the right system version and Android version for the ROM you want to install, it'll usually say. So just go to about phone and make sure you're what version you're on. Okay, now we have our uh, all our systems backed up. Uh, or applications, I should say, but we really need to back up the system also. 
So you're going to want to find your uh, bootstrap recovery. And uh, if it's not in there, it should be. But if it's not, you can go to the market and download it or go to his website. Make sure it's installed. Just click bootstrap recovery and that'll make sure that it is there. And then go ahead and reboot into recovery. All right, now we're in the recovery menu and we're gonna go ahead and do a backup. Now this is a full system backup, not an application backup. So this is everything, the you know, all the ROM, all your programs, even your caches. Um, and that it just basically throws it in the uh, clockwork recovery directory on your SD card. And at any time, if you screw up a theme or you, you really screw up your phone, you can go back to this full system recovery and it'll be just as the day that you backed it up. But remember, you know, if, if you're playing, I don't know, Angry Birds and you went up, you know, 50 levels yesterday, and but you took a backup three days ago, that's where that application is going to be. You ha you know, you'd have to restore the system backup, then restore your application backup on top of that. So just remember because, um, you know, a lot of people get confused on what backup does what. Now we have a good backup and we're going to install um, a ROM. So we want to wipe our data partition. That'll wipe out everything, uh, all your applications, everything. And we also wipe the cache. Um, some things will do it. I just do it out of habit so you don't have to wonder if it's done. Uh, then you just go ahead and install from your um, SD card. And Hopefully you didn't uh, remove your data in your cache without having a ROM to load. I put mine down here in downloads. And I think we're going to load Liberty today. Mm, there it is. And there you go. Just click yes. And patiently wait. Now, not only should you patiently wait for the ROM to load, no matter what it is, um, Liberty, Apex, you know, any of them, um, when it boots, it's gonna take a long time. It could take, I've seen it take up to eight minutes. So don't start pulling the battery or freaking out if it's just sitting there. Just, you know, please be patient. And also, you know, you should start all these uh, escapades in, in, with a full battery because I don't know how many posts I've seen where someone's, you know, got halfway through this and started with a 20% battery and then they run out and, you know, then you're trying to uh, either hotwire the phone or, or trick it into uh, booting with the battery out of it. So just make your life easier and either have a spare battery or, you know start with a near a full charge but I must have done I don't know six or seven loads today and I still had 80% battery so it doesn't use a lot but you know if you get in between a rock and a hard place you might uh, you'll appreciate having the battery okay you'll see that Liberty booted and we're gonna skip the uh, Google account setup again we don't have to worry about act, uh, activation because uh, You'll see we already have a uh, signal and um, so the only thing we need to do is load titanium uh, because we loaded a ROM we already have you'll see the super user icons already there we already have root and um, we just need to go to our file manager this one looks a little different because it's uh, how the uh, ROM creator you know made his uh, particular file manager and we'll do the same thing we did before, load, um, if I can find it here, load titanium. Uh, because it's a fresh install, we we'll have to turn on unknown sources, go to development, I said development, and uh, turn on USB debugging. Now we can just go back and install titanium. 
Now, uh, once Titanium's installed, you would just restore your apps like I showed you before. Okay, I'm back at the bootstrap recovery here. And I'm going to wipe my data and wipe my cache because I want to go back to my ROM and theme that I had before I you know started putting this video together now you'll notice when I go to uh, select my backup here that I'm going to restore that I renamed some of them uh, something to help me out like you'll see there's Apex and Liberty and then those there's backups in between are usually the ones that I changed something like added a theme or or uh, like this morning I knew I was going to be trashing out the phone so I was like well I know it's good so it's I'll just you know hold it in place so um, now when the phone comes up it's going to come back up as I left it this morning and that's all there is to it really now I know it probably seems if, if this is your first time that I went way way too fast but uh, you know if you just kind of read and now that you've seen this uh, when you're reading I think you'll understand more but uh, you know just this will seem like old hat in two months uh, because you're gonna want to run different ROMs and then you're gonna want to put different themes on your ROMs uh, but just please make sure they match if you if you load uh, you know the apex next version make sure you lo load you know apex themes on top of it um, Bad things happen when you when you load, you know, the wrong theme on top of the wrong ROM. But the good news is, is you took a backup. Uh, I can't stress that enough. Um, you should be taking both application and systems backups. Um, if you do screw your phone up, you know, head on over to the Droid forums. Be very specific on what you did and how you got to the position you're at. And uh, I'll see you over there.